Hey, it's Matt here with everythingisradioactive.com and I am going to be walking you through a little bit of a demonstration of radiation exposure and how you can limit it and prevent it and um, show you how my favorite radioactive plate is actually relatively safe to be around uh, with a few measures put in place. So. Um, Without further ado, we'll uh, we'll go into it. So radiation, it's all around us. It's basically any kind of energy that is starting at one point and expanding outward toward no towards another point. So on my kitchen stove, there's radiant heat, and that's what's heating up this water. And with any kind of radiation, if you want to limit your exposure or prevent prevent damage from it, there's three main things, and one is physically shielding yourself from it which for this we could we could put a pan in the way and now that we put this back on you'll notice the water is no longer boiling you can um, add some distance um, as you can see we put the pan here the steam picks up it's going to want to start boiling again as we lift the pan further away um, that goes away and then the other thing is time. So if we had a pan full of cold water and we set it on the hot burner for five seconds and then took it off, that water would not have warmed up much at all. It wouldn't have absorbed the radiation. So now we're gonna go over and play with some radioactive things and see what kind of results we get. That's a familiar sound. We're currently reading 17 and a half microsieverts per hour on the uh, orange-red Fiesta Wear plate. It's quite a bit. So, going back to our principles of reducing radiation, um, one of the first things you can do is shield it. And one of the easiest things we can do to shield this, this uh, plate is put a piece of glass over it. And you'll notice that the numbers are now falling down. And these numbers, they'll fall down um, pretty much to about double or triple of what the background is inside my house. Um, so this glass shields from, from all the beta particles and probably just the gamma. Gamma rays getting through is what's still, uh, still registering on the Geiger counter. So that was just a very thin, I'd say maybe eighth inch thick piece of glass. Um, drastically reduces the amount of radiation coming off of the plate. So we've seen what a glass plate can do in terms of reducing radiation, but how about this unicorn cereal? Uh, the plate is underneath it, same plate we were uh, exposed to earlier. And I'm going to put the Geiger counter on top here, and we're going to power it on. And we're going to see what the radiation reading is through this box of cereal. As you can see, it's pretty minimal. Um, very little getting through. Again, probably a little bit of beta, but mostly the gamma is still, still coming through. And if we move this to the side, and we move our Geiger counter right back there, you can see that um, it was definitely, definitely shielding. So, putting something in the way is one way to reduce um, your exposure to radiation. All right, so I'm in another room in the house, away from that plate, and um, just the background radioactivity in here is about 0.08 microsieverts per hour. Um, very little. So now we're gonna go into the room where the plate is, and we're going to uh, measure from different distances and see what we find out. All right, so our first measurement is actually nine feet away, and it is measuring at the same levels as, uh, trying to see on the screen, 0 0.06, 0 0.05, even a little bit lower than the other room. Um, that's with the plate pointed directly at the Geiger counter from nine feet away. All right, so we've moved our plate uh, 46 inches away, and I've let this sit here for about a minute, 
and we're currently up to 0.16 micro sieverts per hour. So almost double the uh, radiation when the plate was nine feet away, but a very, very small amount, um, hardly above background. So we're gonna move a little closer and see what happens now. So we've moved up to the three foot mark and I've heard more clicks. We'll have to see what the, the number comes up to after it's been here for about a minute. All right, we've been sitting here about a minute and we are up to 0 0.27, 0 0.25 microsieverts per hour. That's at the three foot mark. So I'm gonna move it up to the two foot mark and see what happens. All right, we're at the two foot mark and we're clocking in at 0.44 microsieverts per hour. This is actually the same amount of radiation that was getting through the unicorn cereal box when it was placed over the top. So unicorn cereal box for shielding or two feet of air uh, gets you about the same amount um, of exposure afterwards. Gonna move it up to a foot. We'll see what happens. And here we are at one foot away. We're racking in around 1.3, 1.4 microsieverts per hour. Uh, it fluctuates up and down a little bit, but uh, quite a bit of uh, exposure right here. And um, we'll just have to go a little closer and see what happens. So here we are about six inches away and you can see here that the um, the radiation's increased quite a bit. Uh, I'll let it sit here for a little bit and we'll come back. At six inches away, we're at 3.6 uh, microsieverts per hour. Actually, it's increasing, it looks like, possibly up to four. Um, six inches of distance, though, shrunk the radiation amount from over 17 microsieverts per hour down to 3.8. So even a small amount of distance does drastically reduce the amount of radiation exposure.